Hey everyone, this is the Spoon Dude back with another custom action figure video. This time we are taking a look at my DC Marvel Legends style Black Canary figure. Um, now this Black Canary is on the Marvel Legends White Rabbit figure. Um, I decided to make this custom after using that White Rabbit for a um, Mary Jane custom. And I, I realized while making that custom that uh, this body is perfect for a Black Canary. If you guys don't know, the White Rabbit figure has sort of a blue coat and, um, you know, blue sleeved arms and uh, bare legs. And the reason that was perfect for Black Canary is that, um, you know, those parts describe Black Canary as well. She has the blue arms, bare legs. Uh, so that would make it really easy um, to make it into a custom so I didn't have to worry about, like, paint rub on the legs or the arms. And uh, so, yeah, I decided to make the custom. And uh, getting into it. Uh, and the work I sort of did to get from that original figure to this. Uh, the jacket I had to trim to um, make it, you know, a proper jacket and not so much a trench coat. Um, I also re-sculpted the way the, uh, you know, where the jacket sort of stops on the arm just so that she could have sort of a glove. Uh, since I sort of like the way that looks with the rolled up sleeve a little bit. And then um, I did have to replace the boots since originally she had, you know, big fur boots. So I had to replace them. Uh, with just some lower legs I found in my fodder bin that were kind of skinny. I think they might have been from an old Spider-Man figure. I don't know. But they match sort of the skinniness of the uh, legs. So uh, I got that. And then uh, I did, uh, I think, re-sculpt the bottom piece of her costume there. And uh, sculpted her little choker. And then the rest was all paint. For the jacket, I didn't even have to paint the blue since that's already, you know, how it's cast. So I just gave it a black wash to... Um, Emphasize the, the wrinkles and the texture there. Um, then I uh, obviously, I did paint the black on her, uh, you know, uh, costume there since it's uh, originally white. And uh, this was the basically the only point where I had to really use some sandpaper to try and prevent paint rub. And uh, I think I succeeded. I haven't had any problems of rubbing there. Um, I have her uh, choker there that I painted. Um... Kind of a gunmetal black, but it's kind of hard to tell since it's all in shadow. Uh, and then I painted just a little bit of yellow there. Um, the black here is a gloss black, same as the, the boots. And um, I used these hands from Negasonic Teenage Warhead from the uh, Deadpool movie pack. Um, just because, you know, they're fingerless gloves and they're in fists, which is, um, you know, perfect for Black Canary. Uh, and then here's the kind of fun but also tedious part, the fishnets for her uh, legs there. Um, the way I, you know, the legs were already just skin tone, so I didn't have to worry about that. However, uh, for the fishnets, I decided to draw them on the same way I do uh, Spider-Man web lines. So I use the same, um, you know, marker pen thing. And it's not perfect. It's a little bit sloppy um, in some areas, and it's not perfectly symmetrical. But I, I think it still looks pretty good, especially, you know, just when you put her down and look at it overall as a figure. Uh, I like the effect. So, yeah, there's that. And then the boots, like I said, I did um, have to re-sculpt them uh, to look like boots. So I sculpted this bit here. And um, otherwise, they're pretty much just flat and, you know, a gloss black. Uh, nothing special there. But the best reason, uh, like I said, the you know, for using this body was that I didn't really have to worry about paint rub for the most part, except the torso, like I said. Uh, you know, their arms are already blue, so I don't have to sand the shoulders. I don't have to sand the uh, elbows, because they're already blue. Um, you know, the legs, they're already flesh-toned, so I can pose them however I want. The only part that will, you know, be exposed is the uh, hip joint there, but there's nothing I can really do about a hip joint. I can't really paint that, because that will probably, you know, chip off no matter how much you sand it. Um... I think. I guess I never tried it, but, you know, I'm not gonna... I don't think I need to paint that. But anyways, that's, um, my Black Canary custom. Uh, oh, I forgot. Her head. Her head. Um, this is not the White Rabbit head, obviously. This is the, uh, dagger from Cloak and Dagger. Um, I like the way that head looks for Black Canary. I didn't bother painting it. All I did was just take off the, um, her little logo that's on her face. The skin tone doesn't match, I'll admit. I should probably repaint um, the face a bit, but I'm just so lazy. And also, uh, I'm afraid to ruin this really nice paint job that Hasbro did. It's pretty clean, but 
I might uh, try to repaint that someday. We'll see. But anyways, uh, just to close off this video, here she is next to Batman. I did uh, do some uh, pictures of her, pose with Batman and Batgirl, so uh, you can find them on my Instagram, link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's the figure. Make sure to like the video, comment below, let me know your thoughts on it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I hope to see you on my future uh, videos. Thanks for watching.